what is up? Today we are in Tvern, which is a forest in Belgium, because I'm visiting my friend in Brussels. Do you want to go down, down that thing? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying go, because that looks like a steep hill, go up and see whether we can go down on the thing. Alright. Don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to make it work. God, it's so steep. Bloody hell, I'm not sure how anyone vlogs with big cameras because this is really heavy. So when we're out and about shooting our friends, it's so easy to be like, hey, you stand here whilst I take a photo. And whilst that may be good <laughs> compositionally, it's, I don't know, it's a bit awkward for the person that you're with. And so I always find trying to encourage people to just do more of what they're doing to, okay, if we're gonna be walking up that hill, okay, you go first and I'll follow with my camera. And I think that then that makes you think quickly. It makes you think, okay, this is the scene. How do I now make this interesting? How do I make this into, this is right, um, into like a compelling photograph? How do I make this more engaging than previously? And try and exaggerate those features. If you're going up a steep hill, how do you make that hill look as steep as possible? If you're jumping over water, maybe try and make the water look as wide as possible. And that way you're then able to tell a better story and not be awkward with your friends. Oh, this actually looks really nice. Standing here, looking up at that, it looks beautiful. It looks like there's some like hazing from the trees. It looks awful, awful in camera. Wait. So although up there, it looks like it would be a fantastic photo and you point your camera at it and it just doesn't do what you want it to do. Don't be disheartened, it doesn't matter. Photos aren't the be all end all of your life. It's about having fun, take nice photos, that is, I was gonna say up there and a win at the same time. Yeah. But it's for the enjoyment. Exactly. That's what you do it. Exactly. Not for the IG bangers. No. No. And if you really care about those kind of colours and capturing them like the camera can't, just learn how to paint. No. You could do that with paint. No, oh. no, no, it's a photography channel. No. Oopsies. Don't talk about that. Yeah, don't forget the painting. No painting. Get down. Build. Nailed it. I know I say this all the time, but coming to places like this, beautiful landscapes, places that are different to where you're used to shooting, that it just sparks something in you. All of a sudden, everything is so much more inspiring, everything is so beautiful, and you can use the skills that you've learned when wandering the streets of London to then go out and to, yeah, just have fun. Because I think that street is a fantastic tool to get better as a photographer, and also it's it gives you the skills to then apply elsewhere. You're just walking around and you just see compositions as you're walking, which is so, so beautiful. And I think it's so important to actually devote some time, some effort and probably money to come to places like this that then inspire you, that then encourage you to be interested in photography. Because it kind of, it, it spirals, because when you get better at it, you then start taking better photos, which then gets you really excited, which then means that you go out and take photos more. And it's like, okay, how can you facilitate that? Yes, you can buy more camera gear. Yes, you can watch videos like this, but actually going out and doing it is going to be the thing that fuels you the most. And I think that that's what photography is about. It's not about the bangers. It's about going out, having fun, enjoying yourself. It don't look cool.
Yeah, but it's fine if it's dark. I think there's a little bit of that. That's good. It's so frustrating. Destroyed like painting.